A powerful and deadly storm is hammering India tonight. A cyclone is forcing hundreds of thousands from their homes, and there are food and water shortages already. At this point, the death toll stands at five, but that number could rise significantly. The giant cyclone made landfall earlier today along the country's eastern seaboard. The military is already on standby to provide relief, and aid agencies are deploying staff and supplies to the area. As Paul Johnson reports, experts predict catastrophic damage. Larger than France, the view from space confirms the disturbing data about this storm. Winds between 250 and 300 kilometers an hour, and a storm surge of water between 7 and 9 meters. It's the equivalent of a Category 5 hurricane, the worst kind. Wind and rain from its outer bands were already hitting the coast of India well ahead of landfall. Most of the fishing fleet had been brought ashore, and those who hadn't done so struggled to land their boats in the high surf. One of the most densely populated places on earth, a mandatory evacuation has been ordered. The Indian military has been mobilized to bring people out and supplies in and sandbagging crews have worked with the resources and time available to them. For local authorities, the challenge has been to communicate the danger, but keep citizens calm. Rescue and relief operation teams are ready for action. I therefore request you not to panic over the situation and face it unitedly. As the storm drew closer, airports were jammed and many flights were canceled as those with money left on planes. Many here remember the destruction of the last big storm in 1999 that left 10,000 dead. But officials believe they are much better prepared this time. The coming hours will show if they're right or not. Paul Johnson, Global News.